guys, welcome back to Experimental RC. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to bind a DXX Gen 3 to a Mini Convergence VTOL airplane. Oh, it's a beautiful airplane, super good flying airplane. I have a review on it. Make sure to check it out. I have the link below if you want to check it out. Um, but anyways, I'm going to be showing you guys how to bind this thing, this thing. I'm going to show you the plug and play, so how to plug this up into here and get everything connected and stuff. I'll have a link below if you want to know how, um, like when I'm gonna start binding to skip through all the plugging and stuff like that. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, you're gonna need your screwdriver. It's Phillips head, it's like a super tiny little thing. And um, don't put all your weight on your vertical stab, just hold it right here a little bit and just unscrew this screw right here. And then when you unscrew it, you'll have the little compartment to show like where all the stuff is. Now this is actually very, not very confusing, but it looks the same, but if you count the pins, this right here is actually a four pin connector and that's a three pin connector. Top is four and the bottom is three. Your receiver is a three pin connector, so you're gonna plug it in. It only goes in one way. So, where you can see like, the little wires points to this side of the aircraft. So, you're gonna just stick it in there. And, there it is right there. So the orange is all the way back to the aircraft. So you can use sticky tape or whatever. This is not a AS3X or anything like that. So to be honest, I don't do anything. I just literally put it there. And I do a little bit of cable management by running this cable all the way around. Kind of like right there. And then, uh, I don't know how I had it already. I think I just had it like this to be honest. And I kind of just stuffed it in there. But um, I have I like to have my receiver wires. I'm gonna make them look neat. Okay, so you see how my receiver wires are coming out? I like doing that. And then later on, we're just gonna put a piece of tape there and a piece of tape there to hold it um, in place. So when landing or accidentally crashing, like I do a lot, nothing will happen to the uh, antenna wires. Because if you guys don't know, these are very crucial. If you kind of like snip it a little bit or break it or something. You're going to most likely want to get another one or your plane will just go rogue in midair. Happened to me many times and I've learned the hard way. Um, but anyways, so now what we're going to go ahead and do is open the aircraft up. And you're going to have this wire here. This is FPV wire. If you want an FPV camera, you can plug this in and put your FPV camera up here, which is really cool. But we're not going to do that. We're binding it today. So, I should have left the thing open so you can see it. Okay, we're going to do it again. I'm just going to talk and do it. Okay. I'm actually going to leave it open because I want you to see the light and stuff. Uh, okay, yeah. All that, all that time doing that cable management. And stuff. Okay, so we're going to get the receiver out. I'm going to show you a flip it over. Okay. Now, my transmitter is off. Off. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plug it up. Since this is an auto bind receiver, you literally plug it up, make sure no nothing's on, and it'll start flashing. So. Give it a second. Gotta do this little beeping stuff. Start flashing. And there it is, okay. So there it is, it's flashing now. Um, and that means you're in bind mode. So what you're gonna wanna do is get your transmitter and on the DX6, uh, it says bind. This little black button, you're gonna wanna hold it until it says binding. And then you can let it go if you want. Okay, so we're gonna Get about three feet away, that's what they say do. And then plug it up. Okay, bind failed. We're gonna do it again. This is actually pretty good. I wanted to show you guys. It doesn't bind the first time. I don't know why, comment down below why exactly. But for some reason, like it always doesn't. So always when it doesn't do that, I just move it a little bit further away. And then see if it will just start flashing. It, I had I went through this like four times before it really got right. It hates me. Okay. Of course, when I'm doing a video, it's never gonna connect. Let's do it one more time, and then. Okay, so don't know what the problem is. Let it go ahead and start flashing. Okay, da -da 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 -da. we need some elevator music. 
There's not even a light now. It wasn't even on. Okay. Pretty sure I'm doing something wrong. Okay, there it is. Okay. So I want to be closer now. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I should know what I'm doing, but. Yay. DSMX 22 milliseconds at the bottom. Okay. Now, oh, let's get the better way. Okay. So you see how it disconnected and stuff? Now, I already have my transmitter set up and everything. So I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through the menus and show you exactly what I have everything on. So I don't have to go ahead and do it and stuff in front of you. So what we're going to go ahead and show you is we're going to click this button once. You're going to run on the servo setup. And that is my travel. I have 100 on everything. And on reverse, I have everything down. Okay. Um, and DR and Expo, I have aileron. 10%, 10%, and then it's on a switch. And then also elevator, same thing. Yeah, so 10, 10, 70, or 70 over here and 10, 100. You just match yours up to this. And, um, and then nothing else, it's just elevator and aileron. Okay, bottle cut, I have nothing. So everything else is nothing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come right here to system setup, press it once, and it's going to disable RF signal. So if you look over here, this little orange light, when I press this button, I'm going to disable it, see how it went off. So the plane's saying, okay, my remote's off. That's what it's practically saying. Okay, so we're going to go to model type. The model is an airplane. Um, uh, you can set whatever name you want. Aircraft, the wing is normal and the tail is normal. Um, F mode setup. This is just I don't I don't even do any of this. It's inhibited anyways. Um, I have flight mode spoken, so like when I flip the switch, it tells me what I'm doing. Um, channel assign. So I have gear, gear, and then aux one, aux one, and then when you scroll over to next, I have. Uh, gear is set up to switch A, and then uh, aux 1 is set up to H. I like using these two back switches for some reason. Um, get the screwdriver out of the way. Um, trim set up, nothing there. That's actually, to be honest, that's pretty much it. That's everything in the airplane uh, set up. So if I go back to it, what should happen is it should turn on now. When I flip the switch, the two rotors come upwards, and let me uh, get this. Okay, now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and unplug the aircraft first, and, un and turn that off. Okay, we're going to flip the aircraft over, and now for my beautiful wire management, I've already done once. I'm gonna sit it just like that. And okay, I need to be right there. So now I can just like move wherever I want to. Now you might be saying, why are you like pinching the antennas? It's just straight up foams. I mean it really isn't gonna do anything. To be honest, I'm just gonna put my antennas inside. I don't think nothing happened to it. Yeah, I'll just put my antenna inside. Okay, screwdriver. And we're done. So the bottom is on tight. Um, so this airplane is a very good airplane. Now what I'm actually gonna do is go ahead and turn the transmitter on. I like to make sure all the switches are on zero, to be honest, when I turn it on. Um, oh, I shouldn't have done that. So I don't like, you're not supposed to be on, to, to be really honest, don't move your servos while it's off. Cause I've done that before. Cheer, oh my gosh, okay. Um, I've done that before, and every time I've done that, sometimes it just broke servos. So, we're gonna go ahead and turn that on. Okay. If you wanna know what battery I'm using and everything, just go ahead and go to uh, my flight video. I have everything in there, like all my setup and stuff. So, now, if we go ahead and test it, if I flip switch H, 
towards me, the two rotors should go up. And to this switch, oh my god, my switch is loose. Okay. Okay. So this switch, I tighten it now, is safe and safe off. So you're gonna want safe on the entire time, to be honest. I don't have spoken flight modes, don't tell me what I'm on, but I don't know if I'm on whatever. So I'm just gonna try to hover, okay? So because oh, Horizon Hobby does claim you can fly it indoors, which to be honest, I won't do that. I won't. Tiny whoops, I like flying them indoors a lot too, and they're a lot noisy. This is like out of the world noise compared to a tiny whoop. Be much to go and take it off. That's it, and then when I flip this, it doesn't go in the airplane mode. See how it doesn't go in airplane mode? The reason is, see how it landed? That was by itself. That's because of the battery. This has something called LVC, which is a low voltage cutoff. And what LVC does is, low voltage cutoff, just said it. Um, so essentially all it does is when it's flying in midair and it knows the battery's getting dead, I don't know why it does this. It's kind of weird. I don't, I don't like it at all, like at all, like Horizon Hobby change it. I don't know if I can change it. Comment down below if I can change it. Um, but if you're flying, let's say you're flying, right? And you're you're in the middle of a field somewhere, like way out there, and your battery just get dead, it just flips to hover mode. Like, just flips in there. So you have to come home in hover mode. It takes forever. And hover mode uses three motors, so it uses more power. Might as well do airplane mode and belly land, right? Just belly land it. But anyways, um, Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos and content and now tutorials like this. Um, if you guys want to see another plane that I have, um, I have a ton of airplanes. So I most likely have what you're talking about. Um, unless you're talking about like a $50 million Learjet, I'm not there yet. But um, yeah, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos and content and I'll see you later. Bye guys.